welcome back to my video. For anybody who's returning, thank you so much for coming back. And for anybody who's new here, hi, my name's Izzy. Now, today's video, I just wanted to revisit my laser mole removal. So it's been about a year since I had two moles removed from my face. I'm gonna try and insert a couple of pictures of the moles um, somewhere around here. And if I can, I'm gonna try and insert a little clip of the video that I did before I had my mole removal. If I can't, I'll pop a little card that will link you to my laser mole removal video. So if you want to have a quick look at that so you can see my moles before they were removed, click on this link here and then come back to this one. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what they look like and just re-go over the, the whole process that I went through. Um, I'm definitely scared of pain, so it's been a long time coming having got the moles removed. It's took It took me 30, eight years to be brave enough to do it. And I've done it now, I'm so pleased that I've done it. Um, it was a fairly painless procedure. Um, I think more than anything, it was just the shock of the light and the buzz that, that made me sort of a little bit jumpy, but I actually didn't find it painful at all. I'd probably rate it on a scale of one to 10, maybe a two from memory, it was a year ago. Um, and uh, I've healed really nicely. The healing process, it took two, two weeks. It, it, again, it is in this video that I have put the card up for. Um, I did feel regrets whilst I was going through that phase of it because it, my face was scabby, it was horrendous, and I didn't actually think that it would work, but it has worked. And I am going to show you with my makeup off how the scars look and I'm going to show you with my makeup on. So we're just going to go back in time to when I had no makeup on a little bit earlier and I'm going to show you how those moles looked. So we'll go back in time now. Right, so I've got no makeup on at the minute because I wanted to show you guys um, what scarring I've got from the mole removal um, without makeup and how it looks with makeup because there is a tiny little scar. It's almost like... Um, like a chicken pox scar. If I just zoom in a little bit and then just turn. So that was where the mole originally was. So you can see that there is a tiny little scar. It's almost like a little divot, which is where the mole originally was. Um, and if I just turn to the other side, so I had a mole just in here and you could see a tiny scar probably as well, um, but it's not it's not obvious. And then obviously looking straight on, I don't have any protruding lumps anymore like I did when I had the moles there. Let me zoom out. So I'm gonna go away now. I'm just gonna do my makeup so that you can see how it looks when I've got my makeup on as well for any ladies out there that want to see if it's really noticeable with makeup on. And now guys, I'm just gonna show you how these moles look, well, how the scars look with makeup on top as well, because it does look a little bit different, I think. So I'm gonna zoom in again, and I'm gonna grab my mirror. Oh, that's so close. Right, I'm gonna grab my mirror, and I'm gonna turn. So with makeup on, that's it there, and straight on like that, and then with makeup on, here. So you literally really can't see anything. I don't think there's a little bit of texture, but you know, is it bad? I don't think that's bad. Yeah. So for me personally, I prefer how it looks now to how it looked before when I had the moles. It was something that I was super, super, super self-conscious about. And I have absolutely no regrets whatsoever for having done it. I love the result. Um, they haven't grown back as of yet, which is good. So fingers crossed they're not going to grow back. Um, but if they do, I've got no qualms about going back and having them treated again. Um, yeah, I'm just super happy with the results. I'm super glad that I just took the plunge and did it. And I really hope that you found this video useful. There's no point in making this video too long because, you know, I just wanted to show you one year on, 
how it looked and um, just if anybody's worrying about it speak to your doctor get your moles checked before you get the procedure done by a specialist to make sure that they're not moles that you need to worry about and yeah if you've got any questions about it guys please pop it in the comments down below but for now guys that's it from me i really hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my content and i'll see you guys again really really soon thanks so much for watching bye